Can you see that is all you need? And you just work it down. And I spend as long priming it and working it in as I do actually stenciling with it. So I'm going to take a different stencil and I'm going to add some more. And it's just to light. You might be able to see now. Can you see the shading? Mm -hmm. And it's because there's hardly any paint. So um, it just gives a nice finish. And then I would go on to the accidental one again. It's hard with a small stencil. I usually do the first two colours with a large stencil and then I do the last, the dark colour with the small. So it probably looks okay to you, but to me it's just like, oh, it's looking a little bit different than it, than it would. But can you see so far? So that's the main one so far. And these are the two accidentals. Can you look, see how they're coming up? And we, because I teach like that, we, I believe that repetition is the key. So whenever I'm teaching, I teach something and then we repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. Then we add something in and we repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. Mm -hmm. Try not to teach them everything um, at once. I'm going to add that dark one in as well now. And then I'll go around the edge. Um, because I used to think, I've got to teach them loads while I'm here because I'm not here for very long. But I've learned now, teach them less, but make them repeat it and go over it and, and do. Um, and I'm very strict, aren't I, Terry? <laughs> I'm very, oh, wrong side. There we go. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm like, the paint isn't coming off. I'm trying to clean the wrong side. Yeah, I'm very clear. <clears throat> I'm very strict in class. I teach, a, I, I run a tight ship. They've paid a lot of money to learn. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach them to learn. You know, I always say, if you just wanted to chat with your friends, it would have been cheaper to go to yeah. Starbucks, you know, but... Um, <laughs> But I am passionate about, about teaching them. And I want to know, I don't want them to buy everything of mine, but I want what they buy they can use in lots of different ways and they know exactly how to use it. Because I do not want my cupboards to go, my paints to go in that cupboard of doom where everybody else's do, because they do. You know, if your customers shopped from their cupboards, the whole industry would just implode, wouldn't it? <laughs> wouldn't it? it? It would. It'd be seriously. And I always say in class, I go, how, how many people have got my inks and they go like this and I go and how many people use them and there's people like that and I'm like what you know what are you going to do with them if you don't use them so I, I would look at yeah <laughs> but I would rather they bought less but used it more so they're not buying less they're buying more of this do you do you see what I mean so um so you can see there that's all I've done and I could always run around the edges like this but this is sort of a basic background. And you can see this is really bright. And that was baby wiped on. And you saw how little paint. But you can still see the colours. But then these are the accidental pages that we do as well. And then when they're always, when they're um, separated off, it'll probably look better to me when it's, there we go, like this. So these are the backgrounds. And you could build, I could add more. The more you add, as long as I kept to these three colours. One side a different colour, it becomes a foreground. Unless you use a neutral, which is like grey or black or white. And if they've got a very busy background because they've used too much paint, grey or black or white on the top will just unite it. Black mainly because black, the eye is used to seeing black. When you open a book, you expect it to have black ink. If you opened a book and it was a lilac, you wouldn't be able to read it. And you normally stamp in black and you normally write in black. So... So that's the thing. But that's just one of the many ways that I use the paint. But everything's dry. 